Variety is reporting that Edge of Seventeen and True Grit actress Haley Steinfeld is in talks to star in Bumblebee, the first spinoff in the newly created Transformers universe of films at Paramount. Kubo and the Two Strings director Travis Knight will make his live action debut on the movie, which will center on the popular character who, character who has appeared in all of Michael Bay's Transformers films. Plot details for the movie are unknown at this time, with a current draft of the screenplay by three-time Blacklist writer Christina Hodson. Bumblebee is slated to open in theaters on June 8th, 2018. Schnepp, do you buy or sell Haley Steinfeld starring in the Bumblebee spinoff? Man, this is rough, because it's like, uh, you know... I love Haley Steinfeld. No, I'm not doing that, man. I'm buying this, dude. You know, I, I hate I hate that I have to buy it, but I think she's such a good actress that it's forced me to buy a goddamn Transformers movie. It's like I can't believe it. Just I'm only buying that they hired an incredible actress to be in this tuna can film. Like, hopefully, it's a bumblebee tuna, and I'm like, all right. Uh, what do you think, Jeremy? Yeah, I, I got to sell it because Haley Steinfeld is a great actress. She she hit really hard at Edge of Seventeen, and I have seen so many great actors and actresses just pee, like you you see the tip of the iceberg, and you're like, oh, they're gonna go blather in that thing, and now it destroys them. And I don't want to see that happen with Haley Steinfeld. So no, no, uh, <clears throat> can't do it. Okay, see, to me, this is like. You know, the, the terrible, horrible thing of somebody destroying their lives on crack cocaine and saying, you know what? Good for crack cocaine for choosing such a quality person like <laughs> Haley Steinfeld. No, I'm going to sell this because Haley Steinfeld is connecting herself to crack cocaine. I stand for crack cocaine. <laughs> um, I love, like, if you, by the way, folks, if you haven't done this, it's, it's available on, on a lot of the streaming services right now. If you have not seen Edge of 17. It's awesome. Frickin' treat mm. yourself. It was one of the best movies of the year last year. Go and check it out. And Haley Steinfeld and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Woody. Woody Harrelson yeah, yeah. are so good in that movie and have such great chemistry in the movie. Check it out. I So I want to be excited for Haley Steinfeld. I just don't like this career decision on her point. And look, who knows? Maybe we see the new Transformers movies and we all change our tune and then suddenly we can be excited That's for That's not going to happen. I didn't we'll, say that. I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying that, John. Don't put words in my mouth. That's like saying, you know... Maybe the fifth time you stick a cactus up your urethra <laughs> might be okay. The fifth time. Christian. Here, here, here's, I'm going to change the story a little bit. And here's the story that is actually on the table. Daniel Day-Lewis has joined Bumblebee. Sell. And I'll tell you why. Focus on the robots. Focus on the robots. It has nothing to do with Haley Steinfeld. I love Haley Steinfeld. Age of 17. Age of 17 was awesome. She is awesome. She is someone that I want to see do great movies. By the way, Shia LaBeouf is a great actor. Not good. He's a he's great, great actor. actor. He, he is, is terrible in the Transformers movies because all he's running around is going, no, 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 no. he's screaming and yelling, he's pissing on trees or whatever he's doing. I don't even know. That's a they robot pay pissing on trees. It's, he should piss on his own tree. Uh, it <laughs> makes no sense anything that happens in these movies because they just phone it in. Not to say she would phone it in, but my biggest problem with all the Transformers movies is they they they. St Go away from the robots. The whole point of the original, like the 87 movie, right. was that you were able to focus on the personalities. They're, they're aliens. They're not just cars. They're aliens, and they have their actual beings, and I want to see them do that. I don't mind like human beings in it, and they have to interact with them, but the focus shouldn't be on Haley Steinfeld. It should be on Bumblebee. I agree and disagree, because what Bumblebee especially has to have a human interaction. That's what makes his character work. I don't disagree work. with that. And that they got a great actor like Spike. to be... Like Spike. Spike back in the like you know in the movies or in the yeah cartoons, and the first but, one worked yes yeah, but the, that, uh, yeah, I'm yeah. saying I'm saying I have no idea what the Bumblebee script is I know it got on the blacklist or I don't know that's, all I'm that's saying the is curiosity I'm because very, I think that we start selling it because of Michael Bay we think I am right buying it si simply on the actor that they have Haley Steinfeld is a great actress I think that's right. a great casting decision the rest of the movie could suck and then I'll <laughs> say I maybe I won't see it I'm only buying that they got an incredible talent to be involved in this.